GavTech here, bringing you another video on information technology. Um, today I want to go over Mac OS X Mojave and um, just just an overview of the operating system since some people are probably in the, pro in the process of upgrading or some people are not familiar with it or, or some people just don't know what it does or what's the difference between that and the other operating systems. So I'm just going to go over it. Um, some of the stuff that it has, like one of the features is dark mode, so you could change the wallpaper, so it could it could be in dark mode color. That's that's your preference if you want to do that. Another one is that it has a new finder now, so it has new ways to view files without opening it. And it has all these quick actions that you could you could do on the file. You could crop crop the image, crop the 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 PDF file, make it into a PDF, you could trim it, you could rotate it. You could share it with Messenger, AirDrop, or any of those other applications. So, basically, that that's that's uh, there's a new feature that this, this new operating system has. So it gives you all the, the functionality of of actually uh, doing stuff on the file before actually opening it. Basically, um, now FaceTime is also uh, FaceTime functionality as well. It's, it's almost the same except this time you have. You could do both audio and video at the same time, and you could invite up to 32 people at the same time on FaceTime. So we're going to look at the operating system. I already have it open. So it should be, I'm going to close out of that, open that, I have it open right here. I installed it on a virtual box. Uh, we're going to put, we're going to put uh, United States. Just wanna like I wanna I wanna uh, I want to actually go over it um, and just show you what what to expect when you upgrade it. So that's why I'm doing this right now. Uh, data and privacy. Not gonna transfer anything. I'll set up later. I don't have. Well, I actually have an account, but I'm not gonna put it on this. So terms of agreement. Nobody reads that anyway. Uh, I'm gonna do. Tech. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this, this icon is not. I don't like this icon. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do. Uh, we'll do the, the owl. Continue. All right, let's press setup, I don't care about it. So here, this is what I'm talking about. So you can make it dark or light mode. It's entirely up to you. I'm gonna continue setting up your Mac for the first time. Let's give that a second. Coffee is making me making me sweat. It's really hot. All right, so I don't I don't worry about. It. I don't care about that. All right, so I want I just want to go over um, just a couple just a couple of things on a couple of functionalities. Um, it's the same as as should be similar at least. So we have our system preferences, force quit, like task manager if you want to kill something, finder, new folder. This is a little different now. Get info. Um, a little different now so you should be able to do more actions now on a file if you were to create a file which I I, I haven't actually let me see what happens if I put attack here folder action setup just playing around with it customize Oh, here we go. Create a PDF, trim, markup. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so this is what this is. I'm just looking at different things. So we're at the general. We're gonna look at the general tab. So you can change it to dark mode if you like. Highlight blue. Change the background. Um, let me see. Oh, it looks nice. Light blue. Change the color, change the scroll, 
get out of this. Screensaver desktop. You have a whole variety of things you could change it to. I'm going to go with that. I like that one. All right. The dock. Mission control is a little different now. If you're familiar with 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 Mac uh, with Mac OS X uh, El Capitan, it used to give you the option here to do download from App Store and anywhere, anywhere doesn't matter who it was. Now they changed it to to App Store and identify developers. So that means you can't just download whatever you want on this anymore. It's good because it's like more secure. So I I, I can't download whatever I want on this. Um, to change password, security, firewall, privacy. Just gonna close out of that. You got notifications. Set up notifications on on the on the operating system. Spotlight. What do you want it to search? CD, DVD, self-explanatory display. Change the display. Change the color. To save energy on the desktop when a computer sleeps keyboard keyboard functionality mouse functionality trackpad functionality printer I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as adding a printer so you could hit add the plus sign you could put the IP address and you just hit add and then it'll, it'll, it'll add it automatically for you the sound is there Got ink now for writing. That's your C drive or or your hard disk. iCloud accounts, password, extension, sharing. So it's all the stuff that we're familiar with. There's nothing nothing out of the ordinary. Um, and it's gonna go to applications. So we're gonna go to let's go to utilities first actually. So we have activity monitor, which um, Allows you to kill any processes that you have open, if you have anything open. It, it also shows you uh, memory usage and your hard disk and your network. If you have issues with your network, you can check there, see if you have any, 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 any packet loss or anything. Airport utility, we know what that is. Bluetooth, if you, if you have Bluetooth, you want to uh, tell it or repair anything. Bootcamp, if you want to add Windows 7 or 8 or 10 along with your Mac color sync utility I have no I have no idea what that is oh is this for color on the on the display I'm guessing that's what it is console close out of that color meter disk utility graphler the margins if you're trying margins of setting up graphic design migration assistance if you're trying to migrate data over to this computer screenshot so a screenshot um it's a new functionality it allows you to to take a screenshot of your desktop if you want to take a screenshot you could take a screenshot if you want to record you could record which is kind of cool so i am going to capture Capture the screen. Uh, that's pretty cool. Trying to trying to kill it. It's like being a little slow with me for some reason. The operating system's being slow with me. With my with, with my desktop. I don't know why. Alright, cool, we got rid of that.
Hmm, it's not lagging anymore. There we go. All right, cool. So, all right, so, yeah, so basically take a screenshot and it gives you the, the functionality of adding stuff to it. If you want to write on it, if you want to use your pen, if you want to add text to it and et cetera, et cetera. Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, let me just quit that. Fine. Yeah, like a little lag there for a second. Let me get rid of this one. We don't need this. All right. So yeah, so screenshot in the script. If you wanna, if you wanna write stuff here, write scripts, system information, terminal, terminal. Obviously, if you, it's like the command prompt. So, Google.com. Um. Yeah, and that's it. I'm gonna put that in there, right? Quick actions, look at that. Rotate, markup, create PDF, customize. Customize allows me to add extra stuff, extra, like extra shortcuts to it, but I'm not gonna do anything there. Actually, let's make it a PDF. Cool, look at that. And let's open it up. Let's see what it does when I open it. Hmm, that's me open it. Then you could write on it, I guess. Mm, let's do blue. Oh, pen. Pen is right here. There we go. Uh. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, that's cool. So what else we have here? I'm just just looking at stuff on this uh, on this operating system. We got dashboard image capture. Obviously, that's to take a screenshot of everything. So yeah, you got the news now. If you if you want to see the news, um, like like the stocks and everything, you could you could see it here. Let's have the stocks over here. Uh, voice, if you want to, voice if you if you want to record any voice messages and stuff like that, uh, make a make a voice recording and just put it in there. Um, ah, here we go. I was like, why isn't that opening? All right, continue. Calendar weather, weather, notifications. If you have any notifications on the top right hand side, um, I don't need this. I'm just gonna close out of it. Supposedly, it's a little different now for this. So, I'm just gonna put the search functionality is a lot better now. So, supposedly you could you could search something. It's much easier to search now and clean up. So view options, import image, you could copy it. You could import it to an iPad or iPhone, get more information. Yeah, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's pretty it's pretty
pretty good. All right, I'm gonna shut it down. I just wanted, I just wanted to show you how, how the operating system works. Anyway, so we should be good with that. Thanks for watching my video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, greatly appreciate it. And um, if you have any questions about the operating system, just send me a message or something. I'll be more than happy to help. Um, have a good day. Take care.